was close racing here on the opening couple of laps as well. Then in towards turn one, Scott Ogden from the pole position tried to convert that pole, but immediately he was engulfed by a lot of riders at the front of the field. This is the crash for Fenton Seabright and also Elliot Pinson. We should be able to see Seabright bounce back in tomorrow's race. But at the front of the field, Scott Swan was getting aggressive. We've reset Irwin getting aggressive then in towards Brooklyn's as well. You can see Swan just hitting the front. Keep an eye out for him in tomorrow's race. But for all these riders, they'll know that tomorrow offers another opportunity for 28 laps here around Silverstone to try and get themselves to the podium spots in the British Talent Cup. Lots of close riding up and down that field. It all came down to the last couple of laps. And uh, once again, we were able to see the likes of Scott Ogden on that number four try and hit the front when the opportunities presented itself. Brian Hart on the number nine, trying to recover in those final couple of laps. Keep an eye out for him tomorrow's race. He would have learned an awful lot from these final couple of laps. But at the front of the field, this is the move that Scott Ogden made to try and get himself down into the lead. And it was a lead that he holds all the way through to the end of the race. But for Ogden, from the pole position, able to take that victory in the season opening round of the British Talent Cup. We'll be back tomorrow for another 28 laps around this Silverstone circuit. But is anyone going to be able to answer back to this man, Scott Ogden, on the number four after claiming that victory here today at Silverstone.